Welcome back, everyone, to Parks Racing for Let's Go Racing. It's time for this week's feature segments. It's a great pleasure to welcome in one of the really great guys in the backstretch here. He's done a tremendous job year after year, and I want to apologize for not having you on sooner. It's trainer Mike Pino. Mike, a recent victory in the Jersey Derby that Dick will get to in just a minute, but uh, in introducing the fans to you and your stable, you've been around the game for quite a bit. What got you interested in the sport of thoroughbred racing? Well, when we were raised with horses our, our whole life, my brother Mario was a jockey. I have another brother who's a, a blacksmith. And, you know, we've been around horses all our lives. And uh, Mario wanted to be a jockey. And then I wanted to work for Dickie Dutro as a, a you know, groom and an assistant because uh, I wanted to train horses. Now you came up here to Parks a number of years ago and have settled in here, one of our top percentage guys. When you did make the decision to switch here to Parks, what brought you here? Well, I, I was in Delaware, and, you know, when the slots were really the only thing in town, and uh, it worked out great. And, uh, and Parks was going to get slots, so that kind of brought me here to the slots in the morning, basically. Mike, you've had some really good horses through the years. I got you with, uh, I think, 10 graded stakes wins. What was it when in the Jersey Derby at Monmouth like a couple weeks ago? What was that like? Oh, uh, it was it was awesome. Um, you know the way he ran. You know, I always thought the horse had talent. Um, he wanted to get a little rank early in his races, and we've been trying to get him to take back a little. And I give credit to Paco Lopez. I mean, he he took him back, saved the ground, got a great trip. But I was impressed the way he punched away because a lot of turf horses just don't punch away like that. So, you know, it looks like he has some more. You know, for the future, so that's what we're hoping for. Your your best horse was Ten Keys, won over a million. Well, give me some uh, memories of him and your stable. Well, I, I was a young guy. <laughs> uh, I think I was training like five years. There was a, a carpenter that I knew at the races. He won some exotic bet, and he wanted to claim a horse, and we wind up uh, picking this horse out. We claimed him. Um, for like Maiden 14.5, and uh, he went on to earn a million two hundred thousand. Oh, yes. Just a really nice horse, and I was just a young guy. You know, it it taught me a lot, and I had a lot of fun. Uh, Mike, tell us a little bit about Van Z, uh, the development. Uh, when did you realize that uh, Van Z could be a good horse, and wh what did he show you back then? We bought him at a two uh, two year old sale, Timonium. Just a real athletic horse, grand looking horse, and uh, right away he just had. You know, horses train good, but you know you can see the there's they show class, and he just showed class. And, uh, and he trained just as good as a lot of others, but he stood out with class. And right away, I thought he was a pretty decent horse. Yeah. Now, Mike, uh, all of the trainers not only here at Parks, but really pretty much nationwide, have been faced with an unprecedented situation here with the with the virus and the shutdowns. How did you handle your stable? How did you handle your barn? How did you handle your horses? Well, it's definitely a a wild year this year, <laughs> um, but uh, I had some horses at uh, Gulfstream, very few. Uh, we were down there trying to claim some, and uh, basically left the horses here and left them in training. Kind of went light with them until we knew what was going on, and just kept kept them healthy and do what we could. Mike, one more horse from your past, perfect officer. I mentioned to you a little while ago, third in the 2011 Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint at Churchill. What was that day like to see one of your horses come that close to winning a great race? Oh, that was great to get the horse there. I mean, he was another horse we claimed. We claimed him at Gulfstream that year, um, and he won a couple of stakes and uh, ran some good races at Kentucky. And so we took a shot, and uh, he ran very credible. You know, he ran a good race. I was very happy with that. Well, fans, when you see his name on the program, Mike Pino, his horses will always deserve a second look. Again, one of our top percentage guys in the backstretch. And uh, again, congratulations. Big victory, Vansy, and the Jersey Derby. Thanks for joining Thank us today, Mike.